Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Pride and Fall mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Autonomous Troop of ZHP Lover. But we got some comms to go through and I totally, totally, totally did not use cons commands to make sure that we actually won our wars because we could totally win by ourselves using whatever divisions we started with and totally using wooden spears. Totally. Uh, but we're doing New Testament. Best Testament right now. The, the certain worship of the hooligans have proven even more senseless than we thought. Their leader, Jerzy Orban, is one foot in the grave, and the only action that made sense was letting him live out his days in peace. We'll make it clear that there's nothing special about them, J-E-W-S, Renos. We might let them live among us, we might even protect them as Casimir III has, but we will never let anyone but the ones who are truly us rule us. Yes, New Testament is still the best at the heart of Poland. So now do we spare the Elder, or do we execute him? No... Um, hmm. Well, which one do I want to do? Which one? No grave for the traitors. Well, let's go with Spare the Elder for now, I guess. Why not? Make no mistake, we've come here to heal the nation. It's soil, it's nature, but most importantly, it's people. This means reconciliation. This means making it clear to the miners who did nothing but to spoil the lands before and that there's a future for them in our order. A worthy future, even for the blackest of our souls, the Elder. Such is the power of our healing, we'll be get together again, and God with honor to the fatherland. Rabbis no longer converse. All the rabbis were gathered in front of the Basilica of St. Jacob, the Apostle, and uh, Petrok Trebulonsky. Trebulonsky. The Jews were being baptized in mass in the nearby Strabo River. But that was a little concern for Antoni Skorotov's patrol, who was his usual help dealing with the logistics. They are more concerned with the valuables collected from the synagogues and stadiums, that the two could be distinguished in the Wudzu territories. Like the giant menorah, they planned to put an Atlas Arena after conquering the woods. Uh, conquering the woods. Uh, the overseeing scout team leader was certainly pleased, and he was one of the conservatives, and finally, after dealing in ridiculous demands with idealists, he could revel in showing the Jews their place. Time to cash out. Or group the troop. We're fulfilling our destiny. Where once we have ruled the woods, we knew we like the back of our hand. <clears throat> we've proven that we can enter an enemy territory and hold it despite the enemy resistance. It's not always that a partisan force can undertake a su successful, full-scale offensive campaign. Or are we still a partisan force? Are we still ZHP, or, or do we set out to be something more? Can there be such a thing such as more than ZHP? No matter, we have much more to do. Rest, and as always, we wait. It's done. Jorwoz, Jerzo, what unifies Upper Silesia? All right, well, we have three days left for this one. Um, someone, one of the comments uh, from the last video says, Wait, so Duda is a Polish Yazov for this mod? Lamau. Letting go! Citizen Rafael Alexander Zimkiewicz, newly promoted scout co commissar Jan Kolbozowski, began a speech. You have committed crimes against Poland, God, and Mother Nature. Kolbozowski's eyes were distracted or directed at an old, bold man who was looking back at him defiantly. A noose was tied into around his neck. You have polluted the land of runs with your cruel machines, and if, you were not, if it were not for us, your twisted ways would have spread throughout the whole country, ending with countless deaths. For those crimes, we should be put down like an animal, and yet. Kolbozowski approached the elder with a knife in his hat, in his hat and cut the rope. You were once on the right side. You propagated patriotism and shamed the enemies of our scoutmaster. We offer you to once again choose the right side of the conflict and we thus let you live. Uh, the way of telling who was more shocked at the time. The elder, the scouts watching her, called Bozowski, but orders were orders. Go ahead and never come back to the Volodid ship or we'll shoot you. Zimkus, which uh, started limping into the forest. If we're up to Jean, he would have spared everyone the morbid show. But the command likes us to act sadistically even when we're showing mercy. Get rid of the gallows, boys! Heart of capitalism. Take down that fanist. Oh. Fantastic. Uh, well, Duchy of Elander, they're looking a bit exposed right there, so we might actually come over here instead. And make a beeline for the capital, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Um, unify it, durbanization. Doesn't seem like it does anything. So, I'm just going to ignore it for now. So, uh, maybe we'll get more ma manpower. Collapse the uniform production. Well, we could just buy more stuff here. Do we need anything more? Oh my god, we're so bad right now. Yeah, we've used cons commands. I, I really don't care if we have to do it anymore. Oh, we can still integrate these places. Uh, cost political power, though. Oh, boy. It'd be better, I think, in my opinion, if you just show, like, on the list, what costs the most political power here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because it, it just makes it easier. So, I guess we'll go with the Duchy of Elander, then. Sensing the senseless fear of our foes, we once again march out as deadly as the Brokelon Woods. That's one thing. For the salvation of the country to fall down or fail down to noble scouting organizations, another to witness a countrywide LARP frolicking around us on a country's corpse. We shall prepare the troop and go with them as we've gotten at all others. We're the kind of monsters not even witchers can wipe out. The national epic that the fantastic state is based on might be fair, but it's our duty to wake its innocence from the fantasy. And put them to work, and what will they get in exchange? We won't slaughter them like swans, a fair offer, if you ask me. Ah, there we go. Reward you. 
and then Heart of Capitalism. It might seem that this be by far the holiest of awards, once again an invisible hand that rigs the human behavior to his ideals, compelling it to mow the planet like it's an American lawn. All of us sick of the invisible hand, not even for human needs. But deep down we know. This is the heart of the materialist West we're after. That does not even satisfy human needs, but modifies them. Materialism, guiding them through technical necessity. That's how we're after, not that of capitalism, nor that of socialism. And we're not going to do the focus just because I want to start like using political power to core more stuff. So, um, it's a little ahead of time. Uh, we could use a little bit more fuel, but it's not the worst thing we have right now. Wholesale? Yeah, why not? Um, no, we're good. Oh. Oh, really? War of them too? Oh, they're dead. How many visions they got? Up to 23. Okay, so that's a little bit more fair, actually, now. It's not bad, even though we have no divisions over here, which really sucks, but whatever. So if we can't do well here, well then we'll pick it up, pick it up, pretty much, pick it out. Yeah, that's 21. We only have 18. Um, on your force defense. Okay, so these guys have what type of division template? Okay, so it's pretty relatively equal-ish to us, so that's not bad. goes in and around. They're, they're flooding through here, which is very bad for us, but still. Go in and around, please. Yeah, I don't know if I have to use, I will use cons commands, I don't care. Let's go ahead and take it. This is looking really bad down here. It's really unfair doing all it like this. Man, come on. Lilich. Come on, you can take him out. Come on. Honestly, I'm about to use consequence. I, I hate how this is just spreading. You just don't have enough divisions. You need way more divisions to do this, bud. Uh, another comment included, would you be interested in playing TNO Sigma called Operation Deep Freeze, and specifically the OFN administration of Antarctica? They just got updated. Um, they, they don't have a focus stream, but they're pretty good storyline, and they can do some funky stuff for the CIA. So, got some other comments too, but I can't read Polish. Um, maybe, we'll see. I don't know, because I just I like having focuses, but, you know, like I said, we'll see. Bring back the nature. Mad science, I unrule fists, secret police, the pravities galore. It's not the visage of Stalin's the Soviet Union, but that of a corporation, a parasite that's sight from the Polish nature and Polish men and women alike. It seems straightforward to teach the populace how to unbound themselves from the corporate and unbound themselves to their nature again. A very success of damage upon the ecosystems, but we need all, all the industry we can to get for further wars. The tensions between our cliques flare up again, but the, our work is not done yet. There's only so few plants that can be used for poor production, our kind of army. And time will fully utilize industry. Until then, we must heal the nature and people alike for the worst exile for the rest. Waking up at 4 a.m. every morning to go goes a long way. I couldn't bear to watch all those people. The other scouts were tasked with releasing the unlawfully claimed plants to the wild, but that was too simple for me. I'd volunteer for the special operation. We heard the most fishy about Kronsiwit or Kwinchichi or whatever it is. But we never expected to get this much ore. Famished people fed only with grass to see how long they'll last. Giant people eating fly traps and manure made from the local politicians that disappeared after some statements criticizing the consortium. And those are the medics, mind you. It really makes you see the reason of relying on the natural medicine. What's interesting is that they weren't trying to destroy their documents with the results of their research, hoping we would make use of it, maybe. But we burned all those in holy peppers along with their bodies. We tried to help their victims, feeding them our flour after months of malnourishment so their guts adjust before the real food comes up. So some of them may even prove to be good scouts in the future. Those who were too deformed by the experiments were supposed to be put down. I intervened again. Said letting them live and spread the stories will prove to the wider population that our war against consortium and our cause are just. How can they not be? Well, the alternative looks like that. 
See some lies a day. I wasn't sure I wanted to be part of the thing scouting me, not out of the good thing that happened to Adam's lover, but now I get it. Consortium was one of the most reputable factions in the Void Vidaship besides the Lodes itself, and it proved to be co run by the complete monsters. There's no future with a degenerate idea of progress. Brother seemed to get it, but it turned their righteous anger only at a small fraction of the problem. We see the big picture. Underway will prevail. Lighting of the pyres. Death to the horror sons was what was grafted upon its sword in the Fantest's writing. Concrete mo Moloch. All the talk about dialogue. Oh, look at that. And unity within the city is for now. And it's for now, and will be for now. For one simple reason, no one remains sanity. No one retains sanity. For sequestered within a concrete jungle, especially one that is for obvious reasons lost its maintenance privileges, and bears its true nature bare. You may as well try to forge a dialogue with it inside a volcano. The fires of the space consume the souls of all who enter. If it's our duty to march in and help the city's denizens reclaim their souls, once we plant a flag on their own town hall, then we can discuss things. Cool. And putting out the white flame, the main market of Skirniwi. Skirniwis was filled with the piles of books. Adam Kowalski was one of the, the one throwing the last copy of the Witcher Book of the Kipan. Bath was on fire. Fitting, Adam thought to himself. All the Skapowski's former subjects were so disheartened by the loss they weren't going to oppose destroying the precious tomes. At least that's what Adam thought. When suddenly the scouts dragged one girl who was unwilling to let go of her book. Leave me alone, you dudes. We're free people. She almost looked like, oh no, not again, he thought to himself as he recalled the fate of Zeusia and the fate of those who defied the will of Scoutmaster. Not again, not again, please. Adam was paralyzed. He wanted to do something, but he couldn't, and it was just because he was surrounded by his superiors. As his legs began to go numb, his vision was blurry. I need to get out of here, stupid girl. Hey, companion, what's up? Out of nowhere, hand landed on his shoulder. He finally came to his senses when his ears noted the fire was burning and couldn't hear any screams. Turned out the girl was beaten until she let go of the book. She was bruised but alive. They didn't burn her. The one who placed hand on his shoulder noticed concern. That's why I must inspire fear. Uh, find scapegoats and sacrifice them. If we don't, people will rebel and that means more massacres. Even if you beat up some women or even kill them, we still have countless more. You better remember that. I will. Fire is burning. The forest is softing. Or soating. The grass is showing. Oh, moving on. Where things won't get any easier. We knew this. Where once we had to deal with a few towns, folks, and managed forests we knew, and now we have taken the entire void to the ship. A fate of manifold towns, resources, and forests lie in our hands. Challenges from what foes, stronger than we've ever, ever faced before, and it lie ahead. Myriad issues split us, and busy with integrating the lands and scaling up our leadership and rule, and we're less and less able to keep our values and vision unitary. The recruitment of new scouts, new resource operations, all were hijacked by factions for their own gain. There's much to be done. And if we can't keep the factions together, there will even be more to do. Oh. Oh, we're, we're, oh. Are you kidding me, bro? Come on. Brosif. Well, they're out of manpower, so we should do okay-ish. Get your butts on the lo Oh my god, you literally just got yourself encircled. How stupid are you? No doubt, I guess go in. We do have a cup of tea in here, here though. There, you're gonna help him out. Let's get down there. Nice. Go. There you go. Or just go there and do that. There you go. I really don't understand sometimes how our divisions are so bad. Sometimes. Not too bad. German minority unifies Opolsky. Oh, we got him. Look at that. Beautiful. Cracks are showing. I love it when they show their cracks. Radom Republic. Eurostadt Deutschland, huh? This is the HP Civil War. Oh, crap. The gods in order to destroy somebody made. Uh, make one lose one's mind. Today, gods have looked upon ZHP and found a lacking. Is it the fear and weakness that offended him? Is it fanaticism and mania? Who competes for his mercy based on strength and honor or wisdom and virtue? Doesn't matter. Gods took both ZHP's souls, the conservative and the idealists, and pitted them against one another. They who wanted to make men the broken nation broke themselves and made ready for war. As heaven laughs and weeps at once, story falls onto idealists. 
Bruh. Borkowski, he's a hawk. Where were they about Duda? Yeah. Oh wait, why are we? Come on, just get to the outline so you get some supply. And there you go. Hold. And flood out. Well. Do they even have any divisions? No, they don't. Well, I like this type of resistance. It's pretty easy to beat them up. It's not bad, you know. Just the combat in this mod, I, I understand like all the divisions would be like really tiny combat with, but you just don't have enough divisions to really do anything. It's very tough trying to do any sort of combat in this mod, um, but it'll probably be improved in the future. Pole saw, and we won. Putting down our enemies. I love putting down people, enemies. I mean, I'm not sure what this even does because there's supposed to be some sort of bar that fills up, but it doesn't. So. I think that's going to be it for us for this campaign. Um, if you enjoyed the video, though, and do do, oh, stand up from Moscow. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, oh, oh, let me, let's do this one first. Oh, let's read this first. Check out my Discord link in the description below as we read this. Ever since a tragic accident at Baluti, Baluti, it seemed like almost most of the past Woods void video ship was doomed to spiral into insanity. Today, however, the population of Woods breathed a sigh of relief, welcoming a new familiar site in the region's capital. Ever since their inception in 1910, various Polish scout movements fought for the Polish state, being the uprising at the end of World War I, or in the Warsaw Uprising during World War II. And they continue to do so to this day, having just kicked out the last hostile clique of, out of Woods. Andrzej Duda, who assumed the role of the scoutmaster of the autonomous troop of ZHP thanks to his previous ties within the group, has declared his intentions of creating a civil government and returning the rule of law into the region. However, given the ideals of some of the in the ZHP, as well as the banner's domain's decentralized nature structure, we predict it's going to take a while before a real state of apparatus starts evolving in woods soil. Hopefully, the pine cones won't become a mainstay of local cuisine. But there we go. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.